It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Hawkshead Brewery and this is a bottle of their Hawkshead Red. It's a 4.2% ABV red ale in a 500ml bottle. There's a look at the bottle. There's a look at the bottle cap. Without further ado then, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. I'm looking forward to this one. It was just £1.20 from... Home bargains. And I've picked up some beauties over the years from home bargains. I really have. I always dip my head in there. Generally buying crisps. <laughs> but I pop down the beer aisle, have a look. And when they got something new, something interesting, I'll pick it up. So yeah, we, we had a look last week. We picked this one up and bang, here we are reviewing it. Hawkshead Brewery. I mean, back 2012, 2013, they were producing wonderful beer. Absolutely. Well, they probably still are, but what I'm trying to say is, is that they were one of those young, trendy brewers where they were producing, like, like off-the-cuff IPAs and hoppy stuff, and all in bottle, though. And then they kind of, for whatever reason... They kind of fell off the radar, especially for us down in South Wales. Um, never really get the availability that we really should have from Hawkshead Brewery. But whenever I do see their beer, like seeing it in home bargains, I was like, boom, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to get that. Because they produce some terrific stuff. We've got a one finger white head here. A hazy... Amber red coloured ale, slow moving carbonation, bottle conditioned, maybe, well we'll get some more of the beer in a moment, but uh, let's have a sip first, so I'll get the aroma should I say first, and then we'll be able to get the rest of the bottle in to see if it's a bottle conditioned beer. Hook's Head, uh, I, I don't think a lot of their beers are bottle conditioned to be honest. But that, that smells spot on, absolutely spot on. Loads of lovely kind of red berry hops. A nice biscuity, bready, malty, nutty aroma to the beer. It smells really good. A little bit of plum, a little bit of raisin. I mean, I like this one. If this is great, then I'm going to pick up 20 bottles of this down my local home bargains. Let's, let's see if it's a great beer. I've got my fingers crossed. Oh my goodness me, wow! Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what a beer, what a fantastic beer. Oh, finely balanced between the nuttiness, the biscuitiness, the breadiness, and then it's lovely and hoppy on the back end. Look at the lacing on the glass, look at that. There was never any doubt really as to... As to Hawkshead Brewery, you know, not producing great beer. This is fabulous. I just wonder why the price. I just wonder why it's £1.20 in home bargains. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. I'm picking up the toffee that you would get off toffee apple. Or the same sort of toffee that you get... With that, you get the little toffee hammers years ago, and you with the toffee ban. You, it's that kind of sweet but caramelised toffee. Let's indeed see if it's a, a bottle conditioned beer. Then what a fabulous, fabulous beer! No, I don't think it is. Do you know? Somebody this year in the beer industry has moved from London to Yorkshire, you know, around that area. I, I'm not amazingly clued up 
beer from the lakes. So it's kind of like north of, north of England. And it got me thinking, do you know when something plants a seed or somebody plants a seed in your life, in your brain, and that seed grows into a plant? Now, as a beer lover, living in Wales, I love my country, absolutely love my country. But when somebody makes that jump from London to Yorkshire, and then he starts to speak about on Instagram the reasons why he did it, and then for the following few weeks he talks about all the great beers that he's trying up in Yorkshire. Because for me, I, I, I firmly believe Yorkshire is still the number one part of the U the beer scene in the UK. It's number one for the beer scene in the UK. There's some wonderful brewers. And importantly, some wonderful competition up there in Yorkshire. And yeah, that seed has been well and truly firmly planted. You know, if I want to be drinking fabulous top-end beer... Like I was talking about earlier on, where Hawkshead have fallen off my radar. I bet if I lived up that way, it, it, it would be impossible for it to not fall off my radar. It would constantly be on my radar. Plus another 50, 60, 70 fabulous breweries that would be around the area. Yeah, the seed has well and truly been planted. It really has. This is wonderful. This is absolutely wonderful beer. Malty, bready, biscuity, nutty, hoppy. 4.2% ABV. I could drink a gallon of that. I could drink a gallon of it. A rich, malt-forward red ale brewed with English Maris Otter malted barley and whole cone English hops. I would truly love for this brewery to come back into the you know, start flashing his headlights at people, you know, way, way, look at us, look at us, because they've never lost it as far as I'm concerned. I don't think I've ever had a bad hawk's head beer. I, I think what happened back in the day, 2012, 2013, is that there were some online beer shops that were just opening, like your My Brewery Tap, maybe your Ales by Mail. Unfortunately, both those companies are not in existence anymore. And and they were, these guys were like forward thinking enough to put their beers with Ales by Mail and, and My Brewery Tap. And I think a lot of people were buying it and enjoying it and they were producing like really hop forward beers. And, and for whatever reason, I think maybe they stayed in bottle rather than move over to can or I don't know. I don't know what the story is. But they're not as predominant as they were once were. Or prominent, sorry, the, the word is prominent. They're not as prominent as they once were, which is a little bit of a shame. Because what they haven't lost is the ability to produce fantastic beer. They just need to get it out there a little bit more. I love that beer. I love a red ale in general. For me, that is a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. I can't believe I paid £1.20 for that bottle of beer. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.